Yeah! That's right! Welcome to the Hawk's Nest! It's playtime! You're mine, freak show! I'm Bone Saw, and I'm gonna crush your bones! Woo, yeah! Oh, yeah! Fighting Spider Man! Oh! Bone Saw against the amazing Spider Man! Ooh, I'm scared! Oh yeah! Take this, Miss Elizabeth! Mwah. Looking good, kid! Whoa! Yeah! Oh! Nothing means nothing! What's up, guys? Hickey Pop here! That was my impression of uh, the Macho Man Randy Sa Whoa, Miss Elizabeth! Oh yeah! Remember Bonesaw from the Spider-Man movie? Ah, oh, yeah, classic, classic. Listen, Macho Man never took steroids. I'm telling you, that guy was pristine. Whoa. Wow. He looked like a saddlebag with eyes. Um, I made a promise. And Dominator, my man Dominic and Sophia, they're, they're holding me to it. I'm going to go over some Spider-Man today. Ah, Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. And, um, yeah, but let me just show you real quick some things I picked up this week, in and out, in and out, in and out, of Second Alarm Comics, and I went to a, a flea market, no, not a flea market, I take it back, a tag sale, no, I, I, some people don't know what a tag sale is, that's a Connecticut thing, I went to a yard sale, garage sale, um, hey, call it what you want, these people were in their yard selling stuff, I first went to Second Alarm Comics, and they're like, hug, hug, hug. I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, please call me Bone Saw. What a great that was a good part of the movie, Spider Man movie. Man, good stuff. The, the first uh, Peter Parker goes, All right, the guy's like, What are we gonna call you? Uh, I want to be the human spider. He goes, Oh my god, the human spider. He goes, Introducing the amazing Spider Man. He's like, I, That's not my name. He goes, It is now. Oh, this guy, he just fell. Oh, by the way, um. Here's Nostradamus. This is the first time me and Nostradamus were ever appeared together in a video. And <clears throat> what's with the whistle? <laughs> Silly. Um, uh, yeah, he's uh, now a punk rocker. He got into some punk rock music and he had a late night, a late night. Nostradamus, everybody. Okay, everybody. Whoa. I got to get out more. Listen, I've been busy. I got a honey do list. I've been doing all sorts of stuff here at the house. I just want to come down here and clean up the hawk's nest. I got a lot of organizing to do, but she's up there. She's with the new siding. She's like, we need the door, a new front door. I said, no, no, no. Don't spend money on the house. I need to spend that money on comics. I said, I'll paint the door. So I just got done painting the door. Got a little paint on me, you know, but it came out nice. I'm like Bob Vila. Oh, yeah. So anyways, I'm in second alarm. And I'm working on, I love this title. I'll show you. The Frankenstein Monster, Floyd on the Ritz, um, issue number 10, all right, and um, the cover's by Guillotine, insane in the membrane, insane in the brain, and um, the story, this is when they're, they're in the olden times still, I read most of the issues when they, they he got transported into modern, modern day times, which at the time was the late 70s, but this is still in the early times, and he's with Vincent Frankenstein. And he's a distant, the last living relative of the Dr. Frankenstein. And Frankie wants to kill him. Wants to kill him to death. And, uh, and it goes back and forth, back and forth. This is his girlfriend. <laughs> she knows how to pick him. She goes, I love the bolts in your neck. Ooh. And um, so uh, she's dead. <laughs> Way to go, Frank. Way to go, zipper neck. So, um. So, John Romita and Gil Kane. You like Romita Coladas! And the art inside is by John Bushima. You know him. Big John. They call him Big John. And um, Conan fame. And this is great. I read this last night. And there's two stories, actually. The second story is an old reprint from World Fantasy issue number 12. The face in the glass. Not in your ass. The glass. And um, the, the, what the Frankenstein story is called, The Last Frankenstein, written by Gary Friedrich. And uh, you know who does inks? Frank Giacoa! And it's so good. I mean, the story, the plot is, goes back and forth, back and forth. Right? They, uh, 
Vincent Frankenstein, who is the distant relative of the original Dr. Frankenstein, he has like a, a big goon that, that follows him around. His name is Ivan. He's a Russian, big Russian. And he, he, he's going to tame. He's, he's fighting Frankie there. That's, that's the Russian. And, but him and Frankie become friends, right? Right? And, uh, but they go back and forth. And he, the, uh, Ivan's like, don't, don't keep hitting me because then I'm going to have to hurt you. But Frankenstein's like, oh, Frankenstein can't talk because in issue number nine, he got bit in the neck by the vampire. And, it, and now he's it, got a bad throat. He's got a bad throat. So he can't speak. So all he does is rages like the Incredible Hulk. Hulk smash! Frankenstein, no light! You know, listen, you have an attitude too if you get chased out, out of the town by what, people with rakes and torches all the time. I get it. I've been there, man. Whew. It's not easy. So this was great. So he gets captured. He tries to kill... Vincent Frankenstein, but Ivan stops him. Boom. All right. And then uh, Vincent Frankenstein's like, listen, he tells Ivan, I'm not going to hurt your new friend. He goes, I'm going to make him better, right? So then they go to the lab, the lab. This is issue number 11. Nah, nah. All I need for Frankenstein Monster Series is issues one through five, and I will have it completed. Where's my list? Ugh, Frankenstein. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One through five I need, then I complete it. Oh, I need issue number 15, too. All right. So this is issue number 11. John Romita on the cover with Danny Crespi. That's that big Russian Ivan. And the art inside is done by William Robert Brown. All right. And so Frankenstein, he wakes up and he's strapped to a table. Right and 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 then all now Vincent Frankenstein's uh, his his story changed completely. He's like now I'm gonna cut open his head and put your brain in your brain Ivan. I'm gonna put your brain into Frankenstein because you're easy to tame. And Ivan's like, wait a minute, you never said anything about that. So now Ivan turns on Frankenstein and he's gonna always oh, break his neck and then it just goes back and forth, back and forth. Anyways. Vincent Frankenstein uh, gets loose, and then he comes back with a gun, shoots Ivan, and then uh, Frankenstein's loose, and he escapes. That's how we do it. See, there's Ivan. He's choking out Frankenstein. He's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. Good. And then, oh, there, oh, there's this maid. There's this crazy maid that's taking care of uh, Vincent Frankenstein's wife. She's pregnant, and she's like, Un, un doctor, your wife un wants you. Un. And, and, uh, and uh, he's like, ah, 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 ah. And then finally, she comes in and kills Vincent Frankenstein with the gun after he shot Ivan. All right? And then Frankenstein escapes. And then she goes back to his wife, who just had a baby, and she runs off with the baby, and the wife is dead. Wow, what a heartwarming story. But it's fun. I love Frankenstein. I love this series, man. I love it. So, I'm working on that. I need one through five. And I got... I, oh, I showed you this. I didn't read this yet. This is got, uh, Gotham by Gaslight. I don't know. The Kryptonian Age. This is issue number four. That's Alan Scott. I'm going to read that tonight. All right. And then, Space Ghost! Issue number five. That's a cool cover. Huh? Huh? That's a that's a what a hawk woman's breath is like in the morning. I'm like, good morning, darling. She's like, hi. And my eyelids melt. But I'll read this tonight. So I get all my comic books. I I don't spend money on comics. I'm pretty cheap. Ah, uh, I like to call it frugal. I got this witching hour issue number fifty one. I got it because look at this cover. See. This is what I do. Every time I have to go to court, this is what my jury's like. It's, they're like, um, I'm like, I think I'm in trouble. I said, is this a jury of my peers? They're like, hey, did you go crazy a second alarm? I'm like, that's hearsay, Your Honor. I'm like, Your Honor, uh, where's your skin? Okay, so um, the cover's by Nick Cardi. He likes to party. Oh, my friend, listen to this. Listen to this. Um, Jim Aparo's daughter... She lives in the next town over. I just found this out. She works in a... Uh, I, I won't get into the details. Anyways, I know where she works. And I'm going to go visit her. That's right. She, she can't wait to see me, I'm sure. Anyways. Uh, 
The first story is Phantom Theater. That's by Ruben Yandor. He does all the art and the inks. And the second story is The Devil's Lottery. Listen, I don't want anyone gambling. That's a sin. Did you know that um, Mike Tyson is against all religions? You want to know how we know that? Because he's always punching people in the faith. In the faith. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, and the third story is, uh, bop, bop, bop. I don't know, but it's by uh, Fred Carrillo. So these are always fun. I'm doing pretty good with this series, too. A nice 20 center. Is that a 20 center? No, 25 center. But I had to get Look at that cover, man. Nick Cardi. Now that's when you're like, feet don't fails me now. So I'll read that. And I'm working on my Godzilla. My Godzilla run. So I needed this one. Where's my list? There's a lot of issues of Godzilla. I need, this is issue number 12. I need issue number 13, 14, and 15, and 24. And then I'll be done with that. So this is Herb Trimpey. He, Herb Trimpey did most of the art for this Godzilla, and I love it. I mean, just it looks just look like looks like Godzilla is like a baby. He's like a little fetus floating through space. You know, when I was pregnant and my mom, when I was a fetus, I would sneak out at night. Oh, I do all sorts of stuff. I'd crawl out at night. I'd go through everyone's uh, like uh, drawers, and I, I would read my my older sister's diary. And, oh man, I used to get a lot done when I was a fetus. You know, because there's not a lot of traffic out at night. And and at the time, I didn't have fingerprints, so I could get away with anything. Those were the days. Um, the story's done, done by Doug Mensch. He wrote most of the stories for Godzilla. And it's good stuff, man. July of 78. Close the gate, Godzilla. Godzilla. So, Herb Trampy, the star sinister. So, I got to read this. I got all this stuff yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. All right. And I picked up this. It is not a swamp it. It's a swamp thing. I didn't have this issue. This is issue number six. We're all picking up sticks. Came out in uh, October of 73. Why don't you go climb a tree? That's a new one. That's a new one. Let's write that down. All right. And um, let's see. This takes place, the story, I forgot what was going on. I know he's in Vermont and, uh, you know, the Green Mountain State. And, uh, you know, and uh, Bernie Wrightson's on the cover. Obviously, obviously. And uh, Swamp Thing's up there making maple syrup on the off season, you know. And, uh, you know, he works in a Christmas tree farm. And, you know, he likes Vermont. And uh, issue number six. And I'm a proud owner of issue number one. It's in a condition of, whoa, minus. But I don't care. No way, man. Issue number six, Swamp Thing. Boom. Now, what do you guys like better? The uh, uh, Man Thing or Swamp Thing? <laughs> it's a toss-up, dude. I don't know. I just don't know. I think next video, I'll go over my Man Thing run. And so I'm coming home from work yesterday. La -da -dee. I'm like, I'm walking on sunshine. Wow. Right. And uh, I see a tag sale. As I said, it could be a garage sale or a yard sale. Whatever you prefer. Anyways, I stop in there. Two, two wheels. Right. And I, I pick up. I pick up. First of all, there's all sorts of stuff. All sorts of. Some people call it garbage. But hey, I go through it all. And there's a, uh, an old comic um, comic shop news, right? It's a, just a piece of paper. Comic shop news from 1992. But I saw it, right? And it's But it's for uh, Mike Grell's Shaman's Tears, all right? And, uh, you know, it's just the old comic shop news newspaper, right? And uh, instantly I thought of my boy, Easy Comic Reader and uh, Gunner. Psychotronic squirt gun. Because Gunner is a big Mike Ralph nut, just like me. And I know Easy is a big Shaman's Tear guy. He's trying to finish this series. I went over Shaman's Tears a long time. Uh, one of my early videos. I did a deep dive. But this is a comic book, comic shop news from 1992. And there's a beautiful page that Mike Grell drew. Uh, you know, there's the 90s, baby. Look at the 90s, right? <laughs> Look at him, yeah. And um, 
Let's see. And I, I, I was I had the garage door open earlier, right? Oh, here it is. Look at it. Look, where'd it go? Where'd you go? I'm walking on sunshine. Look at that picture. All right. Shaman's Tears was a fun read, man. And I just liked it because of Mike Grell's art. And the story would trudge along slowly at times, but I appreciated it, man. Just because of the character, the character design, and the, uh, just, it was just great. So, when I get some books together, I'm gonna ship them, this out to Easy. And, uh, I'm trying to get all these books, you know, because I, I do collect, I do pick up weekly stuff, new stuff, from DC. Because I have appreciation of DC, and I don't want to abandon DC, so I get weekly pulls of my favorite titles. But, I have no room for these things. So I put them all in boxes. I got like two or three boxes of uh, newer stuff that I don't I, I don't want. But the stuff that I think that people would appreciate, would like to read, I'm going to send that all off to them. And so I'm in the, I had the garage door open today, right? And I'm doing stuff. I'm painting over here. I'm doing this. And this guy comes walking up the driveway. And I hate these people, these door-to-door -door salesmen. He's like, it's a young kid. Hey. I was like, What? He's like, uh, I just want to talk to you about solar panels. No! Anyways, he's, I said, I'm not interested, dude. He's like, oh, all right, I just, uh, I just wanted to mention that I'm going around the neighborhood. I said, Phil, good for you. Way to have a job, man, you know? Some people go to church on Sundays, but you walk neighborhoods selling solar panels. Good on you, mate. No, then he's like, then he's, he couldn't, he was like, what's going on in that garage there? I said, no, nah, I collect cars. Can I look? He comes in, he's like, Wow, and he's taking, can I film it? He's taking pictures of the hawk's nest. I was like, yeah, man. I said, check it out. And then he grabs a, a Batman book. He's like, wow. I was like, all right. I said, why don't you subscribe? He goes, all right. I got a new subscriber today. I'm not getting solar panels, though. I told him, no way, bro. But anyways, I'm at the tag sale, and I bought this for $4. This is, I, I'm trying to get all the Superman-related um, treasuries, and I thought I had them all. And, uh, and this is the only one I didn't have. I had the uh, same exact one for Wonder Woman and Shazam with this kind of uh, cover, the first edition uh, treasury type of cover. And there's the back. And I didn't have this one. And imagine getting it for $4. And this is great, obviously. Boom. Right? I love treasuries, man. This is like that giant book that uh, Lead Paint gave me, but just smaller. Imagine. So... Look at Superman. That's how it was back then. That's how it was. Look up in the sky. And he's like, great Scott. I don't want to I don't want to know what he's doing there. <laughs> Things were odd back in the day. Anyways. So um nice. Anyways, you guys remember Bonesaw? Macho Man was great. Macho Man was just great. The best in, uh, wrestling interviewer there was. Look at the classic. Classic. Macho Man had a beard though, right? He had a beard. Right. You know, they say there was a poll taken that uh, people find men with beards the most attractive. Men are most attractive when they have beards. Uh, according to the University of Bob Seger. And um, that's it. That's what I got this past week. Here's, um. let me go over... Uh, Shaman's Tears real quick. I, like I said, I did a deep dive on this already. This is all Mike Grell. This is issue number one. This is issue number zero. All right. I'm going to get that tattooed on my face. My face. Like Mike Tyson. He, he doesn't believe in faith. he put you in the faith. Here's issue number one. Very 90s and shiny. Here's issue number two. Great character. Good stories. There's the back. Nice eyebrows, bro. Nice eyebrows. All right. Here's issue number three. <laughs> Hanging around with bears. You know how it is. There's the back cover. Isn't the art great, man? Issue number four. Hey, yo, what's up? Hey, yo, what's up? And he drove a motorcycle. And issue number five. It's like, uh, he wears short shorts. That guy's from the FBI. And 
Here's issue number six. Coming right up. I'll just blow through these real quick. Look at the covers. Issue number six. Look at those boots. These boots were made for walking. And that's what they're got. Look at those boots. In the 90s, boots were extreme. Issue number seven. Issue number eight. Man, I gotta start sporting a feather, you know, like Mr. T. A pitiful. Mr. T, uh, how uh what do you want in your what do you want in your coffee, huh? Put it in a cup, fool. Well, Alright. Uh issue number nine. Oh wow, cool cover, man. Issue number ten. Yeah, I kill I I just shot a, fire, a ten pointer. Issue number eleven. Imagine sitting in a deer stand all morning, doing some calls, and this guy comes running in. You're like, oh my god! And issue number twelve. All right, and that is Shaman's Tears. And uh, yeah, so I was psyched to get this. Very happy. Very happy. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this was a fun week, though. I got out. I uh, went out with my brother, Colorado Kid. Mm-hmm. We went crabbing. We got 30, a bucket full of crabs over there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what you do in New England, by the water. You know, by the shore. You do stuff like that. That was fun. That was fun. We didn't sink the boat. We didn't. No one died. It was great. My brother, but the Colorado Kid has a dog that's staying at my mom's house. His dog's name is Gage. Very well-behaved. Doesn't bark at no one. Does it, very friendly. Only one person. My one of my other brothers, right? It it it, it gets a, it gets a, a hair up its keister over this one brother. The dog gate. The dog has a favorite bone. It's a, it's in my brother's arm. <laughs> he comes over. He's like, rawr, 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 rawr. we're like, down boy. All right. Let me just show you some treasuries I have that feature Superman. Here is official Metropolis edition. Amazing world of Superman. All right, this came out in 73. He's got the whole world in his hands. I love you, Superman. Here is Superman Salutes, Bicentennial. Yeah. Oh! Proud to be an American. There's Superman versus Wonder Woman. Boom, 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 boom. Wonder Woman! And, oh, this isn't Superman. It's Super Friends. Dun, 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 dun. Here's oh, Superman and it's incredible Fortress of Solitude, all new collector's edition. Hey Superman, where'd you hide that key? Oh, it's right here under the mat. Holy mackerel. And Superman versus the Flash. Flash, 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 Flash. There's Hawkman. Look at him. Oh, yeah. There we go. Here is the best of DC. Yes. Look at the people on the back. Batman. Fire hair. The Viking Prince. Classic stuff. Classic stuff. I love DC. That's why I still have a current weekly poll. Because I, I, I love DC, man. There's no get around it. And Superman. Five star startling super stories. Whee! Hang on, son. Superman the movie. Awesome. There he is. He's playing Kal El. He's like Stella! And Superman versus the amazing Spider Man, which we're going to go over right now. Look at the back cover. Isn't that great? It's better than the front. And Superman and Spider-Man. When they came out with this stuff, they had, the, between DC and Marvel, they had arguments before they put out any of these covers. No, Spider-Man has to be the same size as Superman. And, and DC would be like, well, Superman has to be the same size as Spider-Man. And they'd go back and forth, back and forth, until they got this right. Classic stuff. Classic stuff. Dominator. Here's some Spider-Man for you, buddy. I am not, I, I'm, I love Spider-Man. I'm not the biggest Spider-Man nut, so these are not in... 
I'm going over Amazing Spider-Man. The other day I went over some Peter Parker, Amazing Spider-Man, whatever. So I'm not, I don't, not too schooled. All right, maybe you could teach me some. Uh, these are these are the um, Spider-Man collectible series. I, ha I have the whole series, one through twenty-four. I think I went over these one day, but one through twenty-four. Ready? And go. But um, I have uh, I got some classic Spideys. I got um, some hanging up that I'm very proud of. Here's issue number thirty-five. The Molten Man. That's in the condition of A. And here is, yeah. Issue number 34, Craven. He's one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. My favorite Spider-Man villain is the Vulture because that's the first Spider-Man book I read. He was fighting the Vulture and I felt bad for the Vulture because he was an elderly man and his Spider-Man was beat him up. You don't beat up the elderly. No way, man. And issue number, issue number 48 with my boy, the Vulture. All right. I mean, the guy was like Methuselah with wings. He's like, hey, where are you, Spider-Man? Hey. And I got another one hanging up. Give me a second. It's over here. I think you'd appreciate it. Issue number... Issue number 55. I'm staying alive, Sandy. This came out in like uh, 67. There was Spidey in the reflection of his glasses. He's got a good dental plan. I mean, I mean, his complexion is a little gray. A little gray, but not bad. He's got the Mo from the Three Stooges haircut, which I appreciate. All right, let's go over some of this stuff here. I have the Amazing Spider-Man. This is the... Um, this is the uh, Ames toothpaste with Doc Ock. I have, I have three copies of that. If anyone wants a copy, let Higgy know. All right. And I have Marvel Comics, Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man. Why is this in here? Illustrated. Epic Illustrated. This is number 66. This was like a, an oddity with Electro. I don't know why that's in there. Here's Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 94. Close the door. With the beetle. The beetle that has the suction cup hands. Yeah. This came out in uh, 70, March of 71. Yes. John Romita. Oh, yeah. On Wings of Death. Sal Bashima does all the inks inside. He's like, ah! See, if I got bit by a spider, it's always... Just a normal spider, not the radioactive kind. I just swell up and like come up, break out in hives. I don't climb walls. You know? And if, if Spider-Man does everything that a real spider does, shouldn't he shoot webs out of his keister? Now that would be a real Spider-Man. I'm just saying. Issue number 99, I'll rip out your spine. The Amazing Spider-Man, panic in, the, in prison. Look out! One more move and, and the guy, this guy gets it. I swear to God. We want more uh, rolls and butter in our in our dinners. They're rioting. Riot. Prison riot. Spidey will handle it. Ah, oh, nice one. Issue number 104, The Amazing Spider-Man. Is this to be the final hunt? Craven, the hunter. Oh, look at Zabu. They're napping. They're like... <laughs> Gil Kane on the cover. January of 72. And, uh... You know who does the inks in this? Frank Giacoa! And, uh, yeah, they they go to the Savage Land. <laughs> Why not? I got a summer home there. And The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 106. How does our hero get out of this? Squash goes the spider. Squish. Came out March 72. Art is done by John Lamita. Yeah. So, um, Awesome. I go to I, I was talking to the new guy at the gas station. Amir! Amir! So I time to find out he's a big Spider-Man fan. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I get my coffee. I'm like, all right, Amir, I'll see you. He's like, hey, 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 hey. I said, what's up, Amir? Did you hear about the, the news? The news. I said, what? He goes, Venom, Venom. I was like, 
See, I'm not up to date all this new Venom. I said, I said, what? What's Venom? The new movie, Venom number three. I said, oh, cool. Yeah, Nolan. Nolan is back. I said, Nolan Ryan. Cool, man. I said, I said, I didn't know about one and two, but hey. I lost track. Spider, like my nephew is a big Spider-Man nut, and and you think he's a big comic book collector, but I can't even talk comics with him because he talks Spider-Man. He's like, yeah, uh, Uncle Ben is Spider-Man, and he's a uh, Spider-Ben. And then there's a, uh, yeah, then there's a. Uh, I'm like, uh, I'm lost. You lost me, and Uncle Ben. I'm like, I guess I'm not cool. Hey, I guess I'm not a cool guy. Issue number one twelve. Awesome man. Spidey cops out. They're like, hey, hey, Spidey, you, 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 want another, you want some salad with your soup? He's like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I told you, when I, when I go to Olive Garden, when the guy comes out, uh, you guys, a uh, super salad? I said, oh, I would love a super salad. Does it have a cape? <laughs> um, the Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 113. Awesome cover, man. Dr. Octopus is back. Look at that. That's a nice cover. It's got a paper clipping cut out. Awesome. So I'm done with that job at work. I told you I was working by the where all the Yaleys go to class and everything in the middle of Yale. And they're all going by. Like, where's, where's my... I got they, they crack me up, man. They're all like, hey, hey God, man. what's going on here, lad? What are you doing down there in that manhole? I said, you're a manhole. And uh, so, and they these people crack me up. They all go by in their scooters, right? And they're and they're and they every, all these professors. They they think they're Indian. They dress like Indiana Jones. They got the hat and they're like, they have everything but the whip on their hip. I'm like, these guys, dude, just go to just go teach a class. You're not impressing anyone. Yeah, at least. I tell you, I like working there better than some of the neighborhoods they put me. You know, sometimes sometimes they're like, where are you working? Uh, I said I'll be on the corner of Stab Me and Run. Don't bring your parents because issue number 114, Amazing Spider-Man. Is that flat top? Oh, yeah. The city's blown wide open by gang war. And the man in the middle is me, Hammerhead. That's Hammerhead, not flat top. See, I, I'm a ugato, un bleago. Oh, look at Aunt May. Look at Aunt May. She's holding the old pistola. There's Doc Ock. Aunt May Assassin. The last battle. This is it. The last battle. So stay back, Spider-Man. I will warn you. If you take one more step towards the, the poor man, I'm going to fire. Aunt May. I mean, well, where's the rolling pin? I mean, it looks like she was making some bread or something in the kitchen. I mean... All right, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 118, The Smasher Strikes. The Smasher! Cool. Awesome art. Awesome art. Oh, yeah, Man Wolf! Issue number 125, Spider-Man, stay back, you can't save me. No, 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 I won't let you die, not even, not like Gwen, not like Gwen! <laughs> I do know that Gwen Stacy did die by Spider-Man trying to save her. He swung down as she fell off the, a bridge or a building or something, man. And the, the, the whiplash of, of the swing when, she, when he caught her broke her neck. <sighs> See, Superman makes it look easy. Everyone thinks they could do this, saving people when they fall. It's, and Hawkman does it. Hawkman is a professional. It's not easy. It's not as easy as it looks. Oh, yeah, the kangaroo. I used to love this guy. <sighs> Remember I told you I went to, uh, <clears throat> I was doing work, phone work at a guy's house and he had a kangaroo in the basement? I was like, that's not, that's not normal. The kangaroo, he's from Australia. He's like the crocodile hunter. His, the only weakness the kangaroo has is just like the crocodile hunter. It's, uh, he has a weakness to, of um, stingrays, stingrays. And issue number 128, you, it can't be you, it can't. It's the vulture, baby. The vulture. I remember reading some Spider-Mans in the past, and a guy from prison took up the uh, helm of vulture for a bit. I wonder if that's what's going on. Oh, cool. Oh. Issue number 136. The Green Goblin lives again. 
right. John Romita Sr., obviously. Look at that cover, man. September of 74. Awesome. And Ross Andrew does all the art inside. It's written by Jerry uh, Conway. And um, the Green Goblin, baby. The Green Goblin lives again. And um, wait till you see the art in here. Oh, wait till you see. Ross Andrew. It's just, this isn't a condition of, whoa. I mean, look at the spinal. It's got, it's got spinal damage, kind of like me. Brain damage. But um, awesome. My lord. Look at this. Look at this centerfold. Boom. Right? That's what we call a splash page. Page. I mean, this guy's flying around a, a little tiny room with that thing. I mean, that's talent. That takes talent. All right? So, you got to give him credit. You got him. And what do we got here? Issue number 153, The Deadliest 100 Yards. Pew, 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 pew. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Catches thieves just like flies. da 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 Hawkman, Hawkman, does whatever a hawk can. He'll poop on your car like a pigeon. Issue number 165, The Amazing Spider-Man. Stegron stalks the city. Good old Stegron. He's a Stegronosaurus. Yeah. I felt bad for the vulture. You know, he's an old guy. I mean, we all get old. I mean, there's no getting... I mean... My memory, I, I, I tell you that, my memory's gone. It seems like every time I leave the house, I forget something. The, the other day, I left the house, I go to reach for my wallet, I forgot to put pants on. Had to go back. I was already at the gas station. They're like, Higgy, where's your pants? I said, on your wife's floor. Take that, Amir. All right, the cover's by John Romita and Frank Giacoa. Oh! All right. All right, and uh, June of 77. All Spider-Man go to heaven. And that guy's a jerk, Jameson. And um, Dr. Faustus is in this. And there's a... It's, the story's called Confrontation! Which is something I don't like. I don't like confrontations. I don't. And um, Frank, this is cool because in the letter page, uh, Frank Miller wrote a letter in. And cool stuff. And he, he's like praising Ross Andrews' art. So, it's cool. Cool. I went to also, I got a heads up from a friend around the corner from my house. Jim, there's a tag sale, garage sale or yard sale, whatever you guys want. Um, and the people have comic books. I said, I'll swing by there. I went by there. This awesome family, they're moving out. And their father had a comic book store back in the 90s. And, and um, they had four long boxes and four short boxes. I said, I said, you want me to look at the comics? She goes, I have no idea what they are. My, the grandfather was beyond. He's got mental problems at his age and I said let me just tell you what you got and what they were there was all like um stuff that no one wants obviously you close shop and this is all the stuff that no one wanted and I even called Jim from second alarm I was like this is what they got do you want it so I told her I said I'd ask around if anyone would want them so I just text her before I got on do the video I says no one really wants them I says but they're not really worth anything I said but don't throw them out I said if you're gonna throw them out I'll come by again I can at least use the boxes. Issue number 192, Cuckoo Kachoon. And um, 24 Hours Till Doomsday. Marv Wolfman does the writing. Keith Pollard does the art. And the inks are by Jim Mooney. And uh, the cover is by Keith Pollard and uh, McLeod. Wow. I wonder why there's nothing in there. I'm sure Metarod will say, oh, yeah, that one is a very highly sought-after book. It's only made in uh, Guam, and it's worth $1 million. All right, Roger. Roger, it's yours. All right, if you want it. And issue number 193. Look at me. This is June of 79. Al Milgram on the cover. I love this guy. I love him. Love him. Wings of the Fearsome Fly. Marvel Fun and Keith Pollard. This is where... Like, J. Jonah Jameson fires Peter Parker in this, this storyline. I remember. I remember. Issue number 196. Aunt May. Tombstones. You know why they put fences around graveyards? 
Because people are dying to get in. Dying. Marv Wolfman is the writer of all this stuff. Issue number 196. Cool, man. May Parker. Issue number 203, Amazing Spider-Man. The Dazzler! The Sensational Dazzler. And issue number 204, Black Cat. She's cool. May of 1980. Dude looks like a lady. Ow! John Romita. That's right, man. And uh, Black Cat always lands on her feet. Keith Pillard and Pablo Marcos does the inks. Pablo. And, oh, wow. Issue 211. I think I just showed you this a little while ago. Jim Mooney does the inks and John Romita's on the cover. December of 1980. Dude looks like a lady. Ow, ow, ow. And, uh, yeah, Submariner. Good old Wingfoot. Sundown, you better take it. All right. And I just showed you this one, too, a little while ago. Issue number 220. Mike Barr is the writer, and Bob McCloud does the art. The cover's by Bob Layton. Good old Moon Knight. He's a suave character. Back then, Mid Moon Knight was like, he was like a stud around town. He's like a Bruce Wayne. He, I mean, he'd go he'd kick some skulls in at night, and then all of a sudden, he'd have a limo drop him off in front of his house, and then he slips into the hot tub, has some, some champagne with some, uh, you know, some lady of the night. Oh, this one I bought as a little kid. I was probably 11. I remember this. Oh, no, I was probably 12 or 13. What am I? I, I have no idea. Numbers. <laughs> Who invented these things? Um, issue number 264. I read this thing to death. Death. And uh, I always loved this kid. I, I was like, who is that guy, right? And I read all about him. I don't remember it, but I read the crap out of this. And issue number 285, The Punisher. It's like, uh, hello. And, uh, oh, yeah. This is the stuff I read as a youngin. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 293. I have the trade of this, too. I reread this as an adult with the trade paperback. One of the best stories going. 294. What a good story, man. I think, uh, I don't know. I'm just throwing, I think Stern wrote that story. I'm not sure. Issue number 307. And issue number 326. Who's that guy? Gravity Storm. Issue number 354 with the New Warriors. Guest starring the Punisher, Night Thrasher, Nova, Moon Knight, Beckerman. Beckerman and Swag. They uh, were on the hunt yesterday. They were comic book hunting, man. Oh, man. I'm sure Swag hit up those dollar bins. I'm sure there's sparks coming off those dollar bins. And Beckerman bought an awesome uh, graphic novel that I always wanted with the Futurians. I want it. Vote for Swag on the Comic Book Community Awards. Vote for Sleepy Reader. Vote for Metarog. Just vote, man. Um, last year, I got nominated for a couple things for Comic Book Community Awards. And I knew nothing about this. And I lost. I must have got lost. I must have got lost. Issue number 354. Close the door. There's old Night Thrasher. He's an angry young lad. Sometimes he has a skateboard. And issue number 346. This is where I am lost. They come in with this Venom character and uh, Carnage and stuff. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Issue number 357. Issue number 358. Wrap around, wrap around, wrap around. Get up and up and get down. I got two copies of 358. 359. Cardiac attack, cardiac attack. Issue 360. Issue 
issue 361. This is uh, one uh, people are seek after. Was that Carnage, I believe? Issue number 362. Carnage and Venom versus The Amazing Spider-Man. See, people like this stuff. Believe me, they do. Issue number 363. I should put boards on these. Guys, don't get angry. I don't have boards on them. This is the first time I went through these in years. Issue number 364. The Shocker. He's another one of my faves. He's got those little those things on his arms. Oh, yeah. Everyone has this. I got three copies of this. Amazing Spider-Man issue number 365. Oh, holographic, holographic. What's going on? I don't know. What's that? I don't know. It's old. Issue number 366. In uh, September of 92, the writer is Dave McElhinney, pens by Jerry Bingham. All right. And I got a bunch more. Let's hold off. We're getting down there. I got the Amazing Spider-Man Index. I got some annuals. Let's look at some annuals, and I'll wrap it up. Wrap it up! Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 18. The Scorpion takes a bride. He doesn't marry her. He takes her. Web of Spider-Man Annual number 8. There's a lot going on on that cover. I remember reading this. I do. Ma Amazing Spider-Man 2000. Web of Spider-Man, annual number seven. Ultron. Spectacular Spider-Man, annual number 11. Good old Iron Man. Iron Man, Iron Man. Amazing Spider-Man, annual number... Don't know. 25? Can it be? Oh, yeah. This was a good read. Amazing Spider-Man, The Evolutionary War. Yep. Issue number 22. This was fun. There's Speedball, Beckerman's fave. It's a Steve Dicko creation, Speedball. Speedball is something that a lot of the people I went to high school with, they took and are no longer with us. And Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 20. Iron Man of 2020. Spectacular Spider-Man Annual number 11. Didn't we just see this? Web of Spider-Man. We just saw that one. And we saw that one again. Guys, thanks for joining me, man. Little Spider-Man. Why not? You know? Um, I've got a lot of things to go over. Endless of stuff to go over around here. Guys, you mean the world to me. Thanks for joining me, man. Um, I am Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider I, uh, I just saw Beck Neptune put out a video. I'm going to check out her video. Check out Easy Comics video. Check out everyone's video. Great community. This community is the best. It gave me a lot of friends. And, you know, because I ain't got no friends. No way. No. And, uh, so, let's take it out. Let's take it out. Where's my shades? Ooh, yeah. Miss Elizabeth. All right. I'm Bonesaw. Please comment. That's what I like, baby. Going over Spider-Man. Working on Godzilla. He lives in Japan. Doing chores around the hawk's nest. You never see a snake wearing a vest. When a run is completed, the reading will start. I read the whole series cause it makes me smart. Read your comics, they make you smart.